Hey, we are here at Mercado Jamaica, about 15 minutes from Centro Mexico City. So in pre-Hispanic times, uh, there was these little mercados outside and they were called a tianguis and that's where the locals would meet and it's before money so they would exchange goods and then it kind of morphed into a mercado they, they would make a building and house all the vendors there and there's over a thousand vendors here the government rents out the space to them it's uh, open 24 hours a day seven days a week you can imagine it's a pretty popular market the biggest thing here are the flowers. People from all over the city come here every day, buy their flowers, and then take them to their little neighborhoods and stores, and, and they sell the flowers to everybody. Coming here and seeing the prices for flowers, it's just incredible, especially compared to the US. But even what I've seen around Condesa, they can mark it up about 10 times from what they're buying it here, which is pretty amazing for a, a business. Mercado Jamaica is one of the largest mercados. It's divided into two parts, a flower market and a general market with food and vegetables and all kinds of general merchandise. And I heard there's some really good food here. So let's go check out what we can find here in the mercado. As soon as we walked in the Mercado, I smelled this uh, distinct smell and it, it was this tamale cart. Right here they have this little bicycle and uh, tamale station on there. So we're gonna try the torta de tamal. So yeah, let's, let's give this a try, our first meal of the day. First bite's gonna be all bread, but I'll take a big bite. A lot of bread. All right, I'm gonna do another bite. So <laughs> this is full of carbs. Uh, there's the bolillo and the tamal with the green sauce and pork. And, uh, yeah, it's very cheap. It was less than 20 pesos or un under a dollar. Yeah, this will fill you up for a while. I think mainly the carbs. I've never had this combination of bread and tamal before. Yeah, good for a snack on the go. So, and this is just the first stop. We got a lot more to eat, so I don't want to eat too much of this, but yeah, I'm going to get full really fast. So on this aisle here, we have a bunch of gifts, balloons, and flower arrangements. Oh, and they have tons of orchids here. My mom loves orchids. I wish I could bring some back for her, but <laughs> you can't get these across the border. There's fruit arrangements. Okay, and that's the cheapest one for 200. And that would be like $30 in LA. These are cool little wood boxes. That's nice. 40 pesos. That's only $2 for this 40 pesos. What a deal. Yeah, here's the wedding bouquets and centerpieces and arrangements. Wow, look at that big one in the back. That's crazy. Okay, so these are only 250 pesos or $12.50. That's amazing. And this big one here is 800 pesos or $40. That's still such a good deal. Any woman in your life would be happy to receive any of these. Prices are very inexpensive. Uh, most of the flowers come from the greenhouses in Xochimilco, which is nearby, and it's very inexpensive to transport them to sell. 
So if you're looking for something for February 14th, Valentine's Day this year, come here to Mercado Jamaica and there's just tons of ideas. Yeah, you won't spend much and yeah, your uh, partner will be very happy with you. All these little figurines are 80 pesos or four dollars without the plant and with the plant the ones up here are 100 pesos or five dollars so i think i'm gonna get one i'm not sure which one yet though i kind of like the the group these are all made in mexico so they're not coming from china <laughs> that's great it's a really great quality great detail I think this is the one I'm gonna get. It's a little kid from Coco. The little plant, it's even got red rocks in here. But look at that, for $5? What a deal. Right, we found the corn here in the Mercado and this is Esquites Correa. They've been here for about 35 years and Esquites and Elote, they're both corn. Uh, elote is on the cob. Esquites is the loose kernels in a cup and they usually mix it with mayonnaise, some pepper, butter, a lot of stuff. And here they have a lot of different flavors. This one is the Esquites with chorizo. Uh, it looks delicious. Then next we have the esquites with habanero, very spicy. And then this one is with the hongos or mushrooms. This one has the bone marrow, very nice meaty taste in the bone marrow. And they have a dori esquites, doritos with esquites and elotes. Here is the elote and corn, and these have pretty big kernels. We're gonna try a bunch of them and see which ones I like best and then get a cup. We got the bone marrow and the habanero esquites. So what you do is you mix this up. They added extra chili on top of the habanero. So this is going to be hot. It's a different man. It's not just regular American mayonnaise. It's more like uh, mayonnaise and butter kind of. I'm not sure exactly, but that's what it tastes like. So let's give this a try. And look how steaming hot that is. Let this cool off. All right, here we go. Mm. I love the habanero chili flavor. It's not only just spicy, but it also has really good flavor. Yeah, it's maybe a six and a half out of 10 on the hot scale. So not too bad. So this is the bone marrow esquites. And look at these juices, it's just overflowing. It's got the same mayo, cheese, and peppers that we had in the habanero. Look at that. It's so hot. More meaty flavor in this one, rather than spicy in the other. But yeah, very good. We're speaking with the senora, and she mentioned she had a chili oil, which is the aceite de chili, and it's chili arbol, some other chilies, mixed with some oil, and it's more commonly a Chinese chili oil, but here in Mexico, they also have it and it's much spicier. So if they have that, anywhere I go, I add that in. It's so good. Mm. Oh, wow. A little smoky. That's good. Oh, that's perfect.
right, so that's it for our esquites. We're gonna continue in the market, find some other food. We're gonna eat as much as we can today. So, all right, let's go get some more food. We found the famous Mariscos Los Paisas, and this is famous for their Trompo de Pulpo, which is like a al pastor de uh, pulpo or octopus. So very interesting, and they have 500 dishes here. Pretty amazing for a little mercado. I don't eat seafood, but I'll check it out. But Fernando's gonna be the one eating here, so you guys get to meet Fernando. We got our food here, and this is uh, three tacos, their specialties. So we got the carnitas de tuna, and the pulpo, pastor, and then a suadero. Looks like with mushrooms and some kind of fish. Here we have bone marrow with a mixture, a little bit of pasta and some shrimp, and a little bit of salad with tortillas. So the thing is I don't eat seafood and I'm allergic to shellfish. So you get to see my cameraman, Fernando, eat everything here. We finished up here at Mariscos Los Paisas and as you can see it was amazing seafood and Fernando got to try everything. So yeah, that's Fernando, my cameraman and editor. So he's been doing my videos lately. That's it for Mercado Hormica. I hope you enjoyed everything we showed you. So much to do here. And it's not even that packed today and it's a Sunday. So yeah, get down here, it's 24 hours. And yeah, get some flowers and all the other stuff at the other side of the Mercado. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my daily TikTok food videos.